everybody, it's JT Sports and Match, you guys, with another video. I'm here with my Detroit Lions versus the Arizona Cardinals preview and prediction. I'm going to be previewing this matchup and giving my prediction on who will win this game. Now, before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll below NFL videos and NFL content daily. So, I think this game is going to end up being a lot closer than what people expect. And... At first, I didn't really think that because when you look at all the acquisitions that the Detroit Lions made on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball, you got Trey Flowers. Now you got Mike Daniels. Both of those guys are going to make this Detroit Lions defensive line a top five defensive line by the end of this season, if not already a top five defensive line. But a lot of people coming into this game... Since Matt Patricia is a defensive-minded coach and Kyler Murray is a rookie quarterback and the Arizona Cardinals don't really have that good of an offensive line and things like that, a lot of people think that Detroit's going to come in here and they're just going to dominate the Arizona Cardinals. And I don't think that's true. I think this game is going to be really, really close. And I think this game could end up going either way. And a big thing for that is because two reasons for the Arizona Cardinals and the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions, although they're improved on the defensive side of the ball, I'm st I still don't have a lot of confidence in the offensive line. I'm still not really that sold on the offensive line. And a big reason in this game, a lot of people want to be like, you think Detroit's offensive line is going to be able to dominate this Arizona Cardinals defensive line? And although, although I don't think this offensive line is going to get is going to be able to manhandle this Arizona Cardinals defensive line. A big reason for that is because they have Chandler Jones, and they have guys like Terrell Suggs and Chandler Jones who can get after the guy, who can get after the quarterback. Although Terrell Suggs is up there in age, this guy had a very solid season for the Baltimore Ravens last year, and Chandler Jones is one of the most underrated players that we have on the defensive side of the ball playing in the NFL right now. This guy is an absolute monster, and this is a guy who can get after the quarterback. I mean, just look at this guy's stats his stats speak for himself man i mean this guy's an absolute monster so arizona has guys who can get after the quarterback and this detroit lions off the line i have my doubts about and i'm not really sold on them that much so i think arizona can have some success getting after matthew stafford in this game and if they're able to get pressure on Matthew Stafford, then that's going to kind of make it easier for this Arizona Cardinals secondary since they're going to be a five, one of the best cornerbacks in the game and Patrick Peterson, who is going to be suspended for the first couple of weeks this season. Then looking at this Arizona Cardinals team and looking at this air raid offense, I think this air raid offense is going to give the Detroit Lions defense a little bit of it's going to, I think this is going to give the Detroit Lions defense a little bit of trouble. And then it's going to take them a couple of quarters to adjust to it. Just for the fact that this, a lot of people just think that this air raid offense is just a college gimmicky offense and things like that. And that's not true. I mean, this air raid offense, it's really, really complex. It has a lot of concepts that are very advanced wide receivers are really asked to do a lot and also you got to have a very smart quarterback because wide receivers are basically going to be adjusting their routes on the fly in this offense and I think now having a quarterback like Kyler Murray who fits well into this offense because he's also able to make plays with his feet he has a very good arm he also has very good accuracy and very good ball placement and a lot of people are going to be like oh Arizona doesn't really have that good of an offensive line and yeah that's true and Detroit has a very good defensive line but this defensive line they're going to be running all over the field because this air raid offense they're going to spread the ball out David Johnson's going to be lined up out wide this air raid offense is going to cause a lot of trouble and a lot of confusion on this Detroit Lions defense the first couple of quarters until Matt Patricia, like a defensive-minded coach, is going to be able to adjust to it. So the first couple of quarters, the first half, I think this Detroit Lions defense struggles a little bit, and I think Arizona ends up having a lot of success in the first half of this game due to this air raid offense. This is a full-blown air raid attack. Now, I know a lot of teams have their own version of the air raid in their playbooks and have their own air raid concepts and things like that, but it's a full-blown air raid attack. We haven't really seen a full-blown air raid attack in the NFL and Chip Kelly's spread offense have had some success the first couple of years it was in the NFL because nobody really seen it before so I think that this air raid offense for the Arizona Cardinals is going to be able to cause this Detroit Lions defense some problems and 
for the Detroit Lions in this game, they're going to have to be very good and communicating in the secondary because these wide receivers are going to be doing a lot of things. And this Detroit Lions secondary has to have good communication and being able to successfully be able to stop this air raid offense and this air raid offense attack. And then you also got to take into the fact that Kyler Murray isn't just going to be a sitting duck like Josh Rosen. This is a guy who can make plays with his feet and things like that. So I think that Arizona is going to be able to stay in this game for a couple of quarters. And also Detroit on the offensive side of the ball, like I said, their offensive line, I still have my concerns about the offensive line. I'm very high on Detroit. And the big reason why I thought Detroit initially was going to be able to run away with this game was because of how improved they were. But I'm still having my doubts about this offensive line. So I think that this game is going to be a lot closer than what people expect. Now, Detroit on the offensive side of the ball, Kerryon Johnson is going to cause some matchup problems just before just because of the fact that he's able to catch the ball out of the backfield as well. So I think he's going to cause some matchup problems as well. And also, you're going to have to take it to the fact that although Arizona has some guys who can get after Matthew Stafford, they still are going to have a young quarterback in Byron Murphy who's going to be in the game. And they're going to have to be able to take some shots at him since he's going to be replacing Patrick Peterson for the next couple of weeks. So if you're... The new offensive coordinator for Detroit, you're going to want to test him early and see how good he really is. So I think Detroit, they're probably going to try to test him early and things like that. So Detroit can have some success on the offensive side of the ball. But I just want to tell people that I don't think Detroit is necessarily going to run into Arizona. And they're just going to blow out the Arizona Cardinals because I'm not... I still have my concerns for this Detroit Lions team, and it's on the offensive line because the offensive line didn't really necessarily impress me throughout this preseason. And I do think Arizona has guys who can get after the quarterback like Terrell Suggs and a guy like Chandler Jones. So now getting into my keys to game, keys to victory, which each of these teams needs to do and able to have a chance to win this game. The Arizona Cardinals, Kyler Murray has to be able to use his legs. He's going to have to be able to extend plays. He, he's also going to have to have a couple of big runs as well, simply for the fact that in this air raid offense, they don't really run the ball a lot. Now, I know this is kind of going to get adjusted and things like that. You can't necessarily go into the NFL and necessarily not run the football. They're going to have to run the football at least 15 times a game. So I think that with Kyler Murray, they're going to try to utilize his legs and things like that. And Kyler Murray's going to have to be able to extend plays because this offensive line isn't really that good. And this Detroit Lions defensive line is very, very talented. Uh, definitely a top five defensive line right now. And I know a lot of people might be like, you really think they have a top five defensive line? Let's, yes, I do. You got Trey Flowers, and you got Mike Daniels there as well. So that defensive line for Detroit is going to be very, very good as well. Then you got Snacks Harrison as well. So, I mean, Kyler Murray is going to have to extend plays and make a lot of plays with his feet if Arizona wants to be able to win this game. Then also, the Arizona Cardinals are going to have to be able to get David Johnson the ball. I think David Johnson is a big X factor in this game. And really a reason why I think David Johnson is going to be an X factor in this game is simply for the fact that I don't know if the Detroit Lions linebackers are going to be able to successfully be able to cover David Johnson because David Johnson is very good when you line him out wide. He's a very good receiver than what a lot of people give him credit for. And we saw that a couple of years ago when he had that breakout season that got him that big contract extension. He's a very good receiver if you line him out wide. So I think that's going to cause some natural problems as well for the linebackers for the Detroit Lions. Even if you do put a cornerback on him, I still think he's going to be good enough to make a couple of plays in this game. So if Arizona wants to win this game, they're going to have to get him the ball because he is definitely their best player on the offensive side of the ball for this Arizona Cardinals offense. And for the Detroit Lions, they're going to have to get pressure on Kyler Murray. And by that, they're going to have to send a lot of exotic blitzes, a lot of exotic looks and things like that. You know, the typically the typical norm of what defensive-minded coaches normally want to do to young quarterbacks. They want to get them confused. They want to get them rattled and things like that. And they want to mess up their rhythm and timing and make things very hard for them. So as Matt Patricia being a defensive-minded coach, that's what I'm expecting him to do in this game. And that's what Detroit is going to do in this game if they want to have a chance of winning this game. Because you're going to have to get pressure on Kyler Murray. And plus the offensive line, 
isn't really that good. And also, you kind of want to contain him as well. You don't really want to see him run around making all these crazy plays and killing you running the football as well. And then they're going to have to blitz. Like I said, you want to you want to blitz this off the line for the Arizona Cardinals because it's not really good. And also, although Kyler Murray is really good at reading coverages and what a lot of people are giving him credit for, a lot of things, a lot of these exotic looks from Matt Patricia. He's not really going to know how to read and things like that. So it's a lot of blitzes that are going to be able to get there and they're going to be able to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and get it and have a lot of sacks and things like that. Even though I am really high on Kyler Murray as the quarterback, I think he has a very high football IQ. I still think the Detroit Lions are going to send him. They're going to show a lot of exotic blitzes. He's not going to be able to pick them up and he's going to end up suffering from that and they're going to be able to cause a lot of sacks and be able to get him to get the ball out of his hand a lot quicker than what he would want to because in this air raid offense, although they're going to try to get the ball out very quickly, you're still going to have to have time and Kyler Murray's going to have to be able to have time to sit back and let his offensive line pass protect and let these routes develop. And this offensive line for the Arizona Cardinals isn't really that good to be allowing a lot of these routes to develop and things like that. So that's why with the Detroit Lions Lion sending blitzes, they're going to be able to throw off the timing of Kyler Murray and be able to rattle him a little bit in this game. So those are my keys to victory, what each of these teams needs to do and able to have a chance to win this game. And the team that I'm going with to win this game, I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions to win this game. I think this game is going to be a lot closer than what people expect. I think this game is going to be a little bit high scoring. I'm going to take Detroit to win this game 27 to 20, 21 is going to be my final prediction for this game because I think the Detroit Lions defense are going to struggle with this air raid offense the first half of this game just because you're not really knowing what to expect. And, and I mean, if you think the Detroit Lions are just going to come in here and they're just going to block the Arizona Cardinals, then I think you might just be a little bit too biased because this is an air raid offense that is very good and getting, getting the athletes the ball and finding ways to finding ways to expose holes in the defenses and that's what the air raid offense does well and I think it's going to take the Detroit Lions a couple of quarters to adjust to it and also I think Kyler Murray is going to have a couple of plays in this game as well but ultimately I think Detroit in the second half of this game is going to be able to pull away they're going to be able to adjust to it and eventually I just think that this defensive line for the Detroit Lions are going to be able to wear down this offensive line of the Arizona Cardinals which isn't really that good and that's why I think the Detroit Lions in the in this game 27 to 21 is my final score prediction so let me know who you guys think is going to end up winning this game down in the comment section down below make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more nfl videos and content and thanks for watching